talking to you to side right now here at 530, taking a live look at the stage there at the Democratic National Convention in Chicago. We are covering it very closely. We expect to hear from President Biden here tonight, which we bring to you live here on Fox Carolina News. And for much more on what's happening in Chicago, we are joined live right now by the chair of the Greenville County Democrats and a South Carolina delegate herself, Amanda McDougal Scott. So, Ms. Scott, thanks so much for taking some time with us right now. Just going to let the viewers at home know you are on a bus right now heading to the arena. And so this is live TV. We're hoping we can stay connected with you but you are on the ground in chicago so there right now you're telling us south carolina has a big breakfast every morning there in the morning of the convention so when it comes to the breakfast this morning what was that like there for your first one in chicago today it was great uh we had a full room everybody was really excited to be here of course and our guest speaker was uh congressman Ro Khanna from california he was our speaker this morning, and uh, we look forward to. I mean, we, we were loved, we loved having him, and we also, of course, look forward to the rest of the speakers that we get this week. And when it comes to the breakfast for for everyone at home, the significance of the South Carolina breakfast. Why is that so significant, especially for the Democratic Party? Well, because we're first in the nation, and we pick presidents. So that means everybody wants to come to our breakfast and get in front of our delegates and uh, make sure that we're excited about supporting them whenever they decide to run. Uh, to run you know, there's surrogates and so, so on to meet people who are really interested in seeking higher office and uh, they're interested in our support. And we know we're, we're expected to hear from President Biden tonight. Uh, he'll be taking the stage there in prime time. And hopefully we, we can maintain a solid connection here with, with you as, as you make your way to the arena. But what do you hope to hear from President Biden as he takes to the podium tonight, especially given everything that has happened with him not running in the race and now Vice President Kamala Harris, the presumptive nominee? I'm looking forward to hearing all about his accomplishments. You know, it's really great what he and Vice President Harris have been able to accomplish in four short years. You know, um, so hearing more about that, about you know, all of the and the sixteen million new jobs that they were able to create and all of many other accomplishments. And I wanna hear more about their focus on child care in particular, because that's something I care a lot about, um, as both a child care expert and also a mother of two. So I'm looking forward to hearing everything that they have to say about that issue in particular, but also everything else in their plan to continue their good hard work from the past four years and going into the next four or eight with uh, soon to be President Harris. And uh, one, one last question. You talked about the different issues. Uh, one thing leading up to the convention, a lot of the spotlight Planned Parenthood being there offering free vasectomies and medication abortion. Reproductive rights, is, is that going to be, you think, one of the main issues addressed throughout the week? Oh, absolutely. I know uh, Planned Parenthood has a presence here, um, and it is a top issue for many of our delegates here in, the, in Chicago right now. Um, I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe on Wednesday we're actually wearing pink. Um, in support of Planned Parenthood and the right for women to choose. Okay. Well, well, we'll be checking in with you throughout the week. Thank you so much for your time. And Amanda McDougall Scott there live in Chicago. So we wish you a safe trip there to the arena. We appreciate your time, and we'll check back in uh, tomorrow. Thank you. All right. And now.